Rather than quality, I like to use the word moment of experience exists between different boxes or boxes and surroundings. Moment is supposed to be sometimes shocking, sometimes calm, and sometimes interesting, all different. But it should come from sometimes surrounding or just uh, by itself, between boxes and between all built. Underground comes from negative. In uh, Korean philosophy, un. Un is uh, negative, yang is positive. Yang has a life, un does not have life, but it birth is like earth, all things that has a life. So Yang has a life, so it doesn't, it's pretty dramatic, dynamic, energetic, but it doesn't last long enough. But Un is earth, it's calm and quiet, but it births, so it exists for long and overcomes Yang. It's just like a mother, mother just uh, holding a baby. We are baby and earth is mother, same feeling. Mother of the universe. Details are important so it would not disturb the experience. With the simplicity, you can really enrich the experience. Simplicity of expression or formal expression, but materiality could be rich and it could enrich your experience. For example, light. If I want to use a light in space, I try to make first the dark. It has to be dark to have a strong experience of light. Light is something that you can feel and experience only there is darkness. Darkness is something that you can recognize only there is light. If there is only darkness in the universe, we don't say it's dark. The experience comes from all these moments that can give and contrast and help us to recognize different beings like a man and woman. Beauty really comes from emptiness. And emptiness is possible when we really empty ourselves. If we have too much desire, we cannot empty it. So true emptiness is like a room to accept without really completely completeness. So like this pottery and painting is not completely just uh, perfectly made as you intended. It has its own property of earth, fire, or brush, ink. It's been expressed through the process with the materiality. And what is important is ourselves who can accept it as it is, as it's complete, as it's um, incomplete. It's uh, similar in the way that I try to deal with the condition. In rural areas, we have rural conditions. Urban areas, we have urban conditions. But at the end, it's the same. Just so dealing with the conditions of surrounding. When we work with uh, urban areas, we have more complex, often, forces. Movement of cars, movement of people, movement of our visions and the surrounding buildings influence, cast the shadow and blocks the breeze and wind. When you work in rural areas, it's much less complex, but the play of light and breeze, wind, becomes more important. And how to control that, how you trap the light and, and the breeze and bring into the space and where you want to have it pass by, you know, higher levels and lower levels and your body levels, and because it's so quiet without much forces or noises. And you can feel much more delicate way, you know, where what height breeze go through your body height or lower height. And to catch the light, the texture and material, location, the angles, but in urban areas, if it's really busy, uh, we try to make it simple. For example, like a TT tower project, movement is really complex. It was very difficult to play with just the simple boxes. It doesn't go with it very well. So we had to deal with these undulating shapes constantly following the form. Korean architecture comes from not only the today's contemporary art and architecture, 
strongly influenced, I believe, from our tradition, like the paintings and paroles. And the essence of it is the humbleness and the simplicity, as I expressed, with emptiness. Through that, we make buildings simpler. We tend to make it simpler, and, but still the experience of it is as rich. Instead of exaggerating with very strong shapes, I think we can still create really rich experience using the simple material, showing the process of making it itself.